Hi, I'm Levi Ramdelli. I'm the artist for the first arc of Transformers Galaxies. And I'm Tyler Blazinski, and I'm the writer for the first arc of Transformers Galaxies. Well, the Constructicons were my favorite growing up. They were big, green, huge. They were able to build, but they were also able to destroy. So to be able to tell their origin story for me is like a lifelong dream come true. So I'm thrilled. I think there's so many G1 fans out there that are hungry for a, an origin story for the Constructicons that I hope this hits them right in the heart and it's something that they love as much as I love doing it. Yeah, I'm thrilled to work on this. Like, I think I think Tyler's written a really great story. It really sort of humanizes these characters that we've known mostly to be villains in the past, and he's really given them some heart and some reason for why they may go where we've seen them go in the past. And I'm just thrilled to be on this project. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Livio's become yeah. through this process yeah. like a brother to me, yeah. and yeah. it's been absolutely awesome. I don't think I want anybody else to make this come to life just because he's so talented. He captures the heart and the essence of what the Constructicons were to me. And so I'm, I saw the art already for the first issue and he knocked it out of the park. I got emotional yeah. when I saw it because <laughs> it, was, it was everything that I wanted when I first started writing it, and I'm just blown away by your talent and your skill to be able to do that. Oh, thanks, man. No, it's been it's been a pleasure. Like, I think your story is amazing. I've loved working on it, and one of the easiest collaborators I think I've ever done with. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. So my brother and I, we got into the Transformers when they were first released. We love giant robots. We love the idea of them being able to transform into different things. And the way that my brother and I used to collect, he would be the good side and I would be the bad side. I think it was kind of the polar opposites of our actual personalities, but I collected the Decepticons, he collected the Autobots. And it's great for me because I have a nine-year-old son now and I'm passing on the same passion to him for this franchise. For me, the number one franchise of all time is the Transformers. I'm super thrilled to just be a tiny part of it. Yeah, I grew up on um, the G1 cartoon, of course, like so many people, it's like huge for me. And I think Optimus Prime specifically, there was something about that character, even when you're a kid, there, he like radiated this kind of warmth. And to this day, he has like this status as like a father figure or a protector to like so many people. And I think like he, that character alone really got me into it. And then the combination of like the toys too, it was just such a cool idea that you had a car that had this secret that could become something else. Like that was such a great gimmick back in the day. And yeah, it just kind of evolved over time. I've loved being part of the franchise ever since. And it, it was why it was so emotional when Optimus Prime died too. Yeah. My oh brother, yeah, jeez. My brother, the other night, he and I went and saw a Vince DiCola concert who did the score for the, for the original 1986 uh, yeah. Transformers the movie and my brother came with us and he was literally Vince DiCola was playing the death of Optimus Prime and my brother was crying so it's, it's still traumatizing it, even knowing like, he comes it's an back emotional it's hard thing. to watch yeah, yeah so Like I always try and give it, hopefully, like an epic scope. Maybe these really big locations make it feel like this big galactic story. It's tricky too because, like, uh, with Transformers, like, generally the ones I work on don't have humans in it. And humans are really good for scale, which is to show how big these robots actually are. So without humans, you're sort of playing them off other elements to kind of show like the size of these guys. But um, yeah, I just think kind of the the environmental epic scope is what I what I hope Galaxies will have. And I think so. Transformers also, you can say this too, lend themselves to really great action as yeah. well. When I first started conceiving of this story, the, trans the Constructicons are not in a great spot. Like, they're not doing as well as you'd think. And it's kind of a flashback to how they got to be in the spot that they were in. But in the, their current state, when we first start out, we meet them and they're very <laughs> downtrodden and dirty and they don't look like the same green visual pop and, and Livio did a fantastic job of capturing that as they kind of change and morph through the series and become what they are traditionally. Yeah, so. yeah I really like playing around with um, kind of gritty elements like gritty lighting and his story is perfect for that because when we meet the Constructicons they're very kind of down on the luck, their luck and 
you know, they're builders by definition, so they're constantly covered in like mud and supplies and like, and I, I really like that feel. It just feels like a real kind of gritty world. When I talked with IDW initially, they were saying that they really wanted to tell more standalone stories from what Brian Ruckley is doing with his uh, initial storyline, but have a little bit of an interwoven connection between them. So Galaxies is, is its own, if you pick up the four issues by themselves, they'll tell their own story, yeah. but you'll understand it better if you're more well-versed and, and there's elements that are also woven into Brian's story as well. So. It'll be a good standalone piece, but if you want to go deeper, there's always the option to right. go deeper. Yeah. Expect familiar, but elevated uh, in good. terms of what we've seen from the Constructicons in the past. And I don't think they've ever been fleshed out the way that they've been, the yeah. way that they're being fleshed out in this. And that's what makes it so thrilling to me. That's yeah. what makes it so exciting is the fact that yeah. Yeah. we can flesh out these six guys who just were minor bit players yeah. throughout the series. So Yeah, I think it's our hope that they'll feel exactly the way you imagine them to be, but we're gonna actually show you those layers that you thought were there. Yes. And they've never really been seen that way before. And explore so. deeper, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. go deeper, yeah. yeah. Yeah, first issue is September. It's four issues long, That's monthly. Cool. Transformers Galaxies. Yeah. Constructicons Rising. <laughs> it's coming out late September. Nice. So pick it up if you've ever been a Transformers G1 fan. Yep. It's going to hit you right in the feels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>